Yeah, so I've been having this slow leak on my tire over the past couple of months. You know, I like every week or two I have to be putting air in it. It's very annoying because it's not really low, but as you can tell, and these BMW have this flat tire thing on the on the, on the, on the, on the dash, it won't go that way. It, um, that takes up the entire screen, you know. So um, I'm annoyed with this flat. It's not it's not leaking out all the air, but it's just going below um, what is supposed to be the normal PSI. So I just take it off just to see what's going on with it. And as soon as I take the wheel off, I could see this, this nail inside of here. So um, I'm gonna try to get it out and see if I can get this tire plugged. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it myself. Yeah, so I'm gonna be trying to use this thing to see if I can get this out. Yeah, so these are what I'm gonna be using today. These are my plug kit that I'm gonna use to plug the tire. Yeah, and I should also let you guys know that this is also a run flat tire. Um, this is a run flat tire that comes on the um, for these um, cars because they never usually come with spare. Even though I I I bought my own spare kit for this car. I still wear the run flat tires on it, but whenever I'm gonna change, I'm not gonna put these back. But for now, these are not even that good tire. You can see they are cracked up, so definitely I'm gonna change these. Yeah, but for now I'm just gonna be wearing this. Gonna be off this car in a few weeks, so I'm gonna just plug this for now. Yep. So um, let's go ahead and see what's happening now and this is what was causing my leak it's a nail but the top of the nail has been broken and after driving and driving and driving it smooths it off yep smooths it off so once I get that thing out what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna use this and put it in here and make sure the hole is properly Space plug can fit in there. Yep. This is this is what I'm gonna use to plug the hole. It's it's sticky. Something like, um, I like almost like glue, but um, when it once it goes in there, it blocks the entire hole, and then you no know, air goes in or out. And this is how this 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 supposed to be a temporary fix. This is not like a permanent fix, but yeah, uh, I've drive car with plug in it for for many years, so it all depends on how well it's done, and how much driving you're doing, so. I wouldn't recommend this as a permanent fix, but for a temporary solution, it can last for a good time. All right, so I'm just gonna cut it and get it to the length that I want, and then I'm gonna, actually, I think I probably just use the entire thing. Yes. So this, this one of the tool is like a needle. It has a thread hole to it. Like you thread the, the, the plug through it. And this is what you're gonna use to force it down into the hole of the tire and then once you do that you pull up you pull up on it once you force it down you pull up 
and then once that's done then um, you will have the plug all plugged in the hole you just cut the excess off and that should be it so now I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna pull the plug in I'm gonna use my two hands to do it guys gonna it's not easy to do so as you can see the plug is now in now in there you hear no leaks now I'm just gonna throw some I'm gonna put some water on it to see if I see any bubble I don't see any bubble I'm just gonna cut the excess off So once the tire runs, it's gonna go flat. There's no problem. This will go flat, and then from there we're still gonna have a successful plug. Yeah, and this is how I fix my. Um, and this is how I fix my plug, uh, my tire. So I plug the tire for temporary fix, and this could keep me going. Hopefully for a few more weeks or maybe a month. All right. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm gonna put um make sure I have a correct air cause a lot of air was out of the cars out of the tire. So I'm gonna re-put the air in back in the tire to the correct um psi and then I'm gonna mount this tire back on the car. When I'm mounting my when I'm mounting my tire, I try I always try to use this mounting stud right here. This allows me to have something to put the wheel on because these wheel this wheel is heavy and it's very hard to line the wheel up because there's no stud. So now that I have this temporary stud in, you just use your hand and, and turn it in. Once you have this in, you have something to anchor the wheel on, and then you can line up the rest of the holes.